No question about it, this was the most volatile outburst on a night that saw several. An emotionally charged crowd of hundreds packed Maranatha Church Thursday night to voice concerns about policing in Portland. Something's got to change, and it starts now. What was dubbed as a listening session comes about a week after the community learned about text messages between Portland Police Lieutenant Jeffrey Nia and Joey Gibson of the right-wing group Patriot Prayer. You people are collaborating with right-wing white supremacists who have engaged in a two-year campaign of violence. Critics like this woman believe the text exchange is unprofessional and shows the two have a friendly and cozy relationship. And they gave an earful to a panel consisting of the mayor and police chief, among others. Why are, are you more concerned about us, the public, that are standing up against racism than the racists that are coming in from out of state and antagonizing people? On the flip side, the union that represents Lieutenant Nia says he was simply doing his job gathering intel to keep citizens safe. And some recognize that, and they support the lieutenant, now at the center of an internal investigation. When we looked at those emails, we saw a cop doing his job. Jeff is the kind of cop I want to show up on my worst day. Unfortunately, very few people came forward with the solutions the police chief was hoping for. And I want to leave here with something that I can take away and actually implement to have an impact. There were just too many interruptions. One in particular that spilled into the parking lot afterward, forcing officers to intervene. All right, back out here live, you may have uh, recognized uh, that woman being escorted away at the end of the story. She's the same woman from the beginning of the story, and she associates uh, with Patriot Prayer. But we can tell you there are disruptions from both sides, the left and the right, and that's really no surprise uh, to organizers. In fact, anyone heading inside the church tonight had to be checked for weapons or anything that could have been used as a weapon. And to our knowledge, nothing was confiscated or found. Back to you.